I'm Alejandro Comelas. I'm a pulmonologist and intensivist here at the University of Iowa. In the post-COVID clinic, we're seeing patients that typical symptoms that they have from either we call it long COVID or long haulers or post-COVID is basically fatigue, shortness of breath, cognitive impairment, meaning that they have brain fog, difficulty concentrating, and in addition to that, sometimes they have also palpitations, changes in their blood pressure, basically the heart rate goes up or down, and then also some sleep disturbances, and um, anxiety and sometimes depression if they have especially a background that has gotten worse. Right now we're learning uh, what are the best uh, strategies we have. A lot of what is happening in the clinic is that patients are taking a long time to recover. So in the meantime, what we're trying to do is support them through this process of many months to a year or so. We recognize that what everybody's going through is real. We understand that this is something that is affecting their daily lives. We understand also that it's taking a long time to recover, that it doesn't matter how severe was your disease. You could have had something very mild in the beginning with your acute COVID and now you're suffering from post-COVID. And at the same time, we're trying to really learn with our patients also, you know, what are the things that are experiencing and what are the things that are working or not working for their care. The um, collaborative nature of the academic institution has been instrumental for us to be able to have a clinic that is able to at least provide access to this specialist. So the main discovery we have at this point is that a lot of our patients who come in with uh, shortness of breath and symptoms, respiratory symptoms, uh, you do pulmonary function tests and you find that they're normal. You do a normal CAT scan, regular CT, which is basically the person is breathing normally and you do a CT scan and you look at their lungs, they look normal. But what happens is that if you ask a patient to do a specific maneuver, which is you ask them to exhale, meaning that you want to empty completely the lungs, and now you do the CT scan, uh, your lungs should be able to empty all the air. Uh, but what we're finding is that there are pockets in the lung that the air is trapped, so it's not able to empty. That is evidence of what we call a small airway disease, which is basically inflammation of the small airways that will not manifest on the pulmonary function test. In a regular CT, it will not manifest. But if you do the test in that specific fashion, uh, you're able to detect these abnormalities. So that is one of the discoveries we have had uh, based on the experience we have had in the clinic and thanks to, that, to all the patients who have been willing to be part of the registry.